All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and I feel the pull of Burger King on my mind. You know, so uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, we're uh, at Bitcoin Cloud number three nineteen, and in fact, I think I will actually get uh, Burger King uh, today. All right, this time what I'll do is I'll actually remove all the Whopper buns because uh, what you might call a lot of that is actually uh, two hundred twenty calories for both buns. So just by removing that and a lot, and of course a lot of the mayonnaise, you actually reduce a lot of the calories. So it's actually kind of nice because uh, the actual Whopper is like 667 calories according to uh, Google. Actually, let me see Whopper calories. <laughs> Whopper, yeah, 677 calories. So I can reduce this to 457 calories by just eating like the non-bun stuff. Uh, the patty itself is 250, so where's that other extra, extra couple hundred coming from? I find that a little kind of, uh, uh, a matter of fact, I don't know. So there's 200 something, because uh, the ketchup's only 20, so it's got to be the mayonnaise. That's the only thing I can think of, because uh, mayonnaise is very fattening. So anyway. Uh, Bitcoin is seven for this week, so not a whole lot. Uh, unfortunately, I wound up being wrong, which is unfortunate. Uh, there seems to be a profit-taking little nosedive going on. Dominance of Bitcoin's at 65.8 percent. 24-hour volume is a little bit higher, but still kind of low, at 88 billion. You know, a little more than that. Bitcoin's at 83.59, so it's slowly uh, going down a bit. I've checked the news already many times. There is nothing significantly uh, fundamentally wrong, uh, but markets are down overall. So maybe people are getting scared of like the China virus thing. So that's wiping us all out. Uh, and you know, I in case in case you don't watch my politic videos on my BitChute channel, I covered it. It's basically a bioweapon engineered specifically designed to kill Chinese people, right? So you know the pieces of garbage shit in the CIA or, you know, like, hey, you know, China, you better behave or, you know, we're going to wipe you out kind of thing. So, uh, yeah, but now it's actually landed in America. So uh, uh, that will cause people to start asking questions. I kind of forget that now that I have to post this stuff on YouTube because to get around BitChute's bad, shitty processing servers, I do have to kind of keep my video uh, for Bitcoin, you know, kind of safe, right? And community guidelines safe. It pisses me off. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what's happening. But of course, we all know about the virus, so you know the CDC should be able to uh, you know uh, you know uh, isolate the thing. And China's already taken extreme measures as always. Uh, they're actually quarantining entire cities. So yeah, not uh, it's uh, we'll, we'll 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 be fine. But in the meantime, uh, cryptocurrency is going to take a hit because of it, right? Uh, I already said Bitcoin's a little under, yeah, eighty-three sixty. Lighty coin is at fifty-four dollars and ninety-three cents, so this thing's going down. Uh, also, today's Thursday, so we're going into the weekend. So you know, we've had some pretty impressive weekends the past several weeks. So it's only gonna be a matter of time before it goes down like it normally does on the weekend. Dog coins at two seventy-nine, so basically two eighty million. So so far, this downturn is really not that bad. And I checked Yahoo Finance. Uh, well, first, let's do Steam first. Steam is at 15.88 cents, so it's still not too bad. Things are going down a little bit, but they're not really going nosedivey yet. Uh, it could very well do that, though. Uh, we'll have to see. Like People are kind of spooked. Um, finance, Yahoo. Yeah, so today's equity markets are also down a little bit, too. So everyone's just kind of like just getting nervous for whatever reason, right? I uh, can oh yeah, we didn't have to do that because this also shows it up here. So cans down to five bucks and three cents, so whatever. Uh, JFC Koi is doing what they normally does, three to four. I figure once I come out with my video game, all right, assuming I can do it, I'm actually thinking the game will accept JMC 404 two by two coin, whatever crypto. Uh, and then the site does not take it as profit. In fact, we burn all the coins. Because uh, the problem that I have to start thinking about is actually uh, IRS regulations. So I'm thinking, well, if I'm throwing away all the money, then there's nothing for the IRS to tax. Because we don't want, because in that case, like, yeah, we don't want the money. We just want to throw it away. Um, you know, and that would also be quite consistent with, you know, not putting money above God kind of thing. Because for those of you, again, who watch my political stuff, yeah, you know, I'm becoming a stronger Christian. So it's, it's, how, it's how the mindset's different. Because, you know, the game, because right now there's really no use case for, you know, these cryptos except for on the use on a gambling website. 
So we need to try and encourage people to legitimately, you know, more, well, more legitimately use our cryptocurrency. So a game would be pretty perfect for that. Like, you know, like let's say you want to unlock a very valuable slot and you can only do it with JMC coin. Yeah, go go in the market and buy a million JMC coin. If we have 10,000 people doing that, 1 million times 10,000 is like 10 billion or something. That's going to really mess up the destroy the supply, right? And then, you know, we're, we're Tamaguchi at that point. Uh, for four coin, uh, it's actually been recovering a little bit. It may not seem that way, uh, but that's because everyone, uh, what's happening is people, prices are going up, right? Because Bitcoin and crypto and all this stuff is going down. But also, and then of course, 404 is gonna go back up, but people are also just pulling their money out of all their crypto for whatever reason too. So these two forces are at work. Uh, but with that being said, I do fully expect us to go uh, straight up, uh, but we'll have to see. Um, but it could be an indicator also that people are just, you know, uh, not really planning to dump their crypto too, but we'll have to see. Uh, two by two coin has already recovered a bit. You know, as you can see, a lot of green, its price is going up. It's at 65 to 73, but of course I fully expect that this thing's also going to torpedo upwards as well. Uh, yeah, in fact, no one is even selling all that solid green for two by two. So we'll keep an eye on that. As usual, Compound Coin continues to do stupid retard, and it's at four thousand to, uh, I guess, five thousand one hundred satoshis of a dog coin, but nothing really going on. And in fact, because the stupid Compound Coin devs are not seemingly doing anything except doing the same dumb shit uh, as before, I don't think my game is going to accept Compound Coin because you know I'm not going to help those idiots out. Right, you know, if they do, they need to send. They need to give me a lot of coins for it. You know, and if they can't be bothered with it, then their project can go fuck themselves and die. Right, you know, because again, I don't like lazy people. Right, well, no, that's not true. I don't like negligent people. I don't, I, I encourage people to be lazy, but if you're negligent, then that's the worst form of being lazy. It's like, oh, my kid's in the hospital, but I'd rather go watch Game of Thrones. Well, you're being a negligent asshole. People call that lazy, but that's actually not uh, good to think of because being lazy is actually good because it, it forces you to think, how can I do more with what, I, with what little time that I have, right? So being lazy is actually pretty critical to that process. Uh, but when you're lazy and negligent, that's actually what people, uh, pisses God off. So, because again, you know, if you become rich and famous like Donald Trump or anybody that's successful, you know, there's only 24 hours in a day, right? You have to spend eight to nine hours of it sleeping. So you have very little limited time to do what you need to do, right? But how do you manage, you know, all your money and all your power? Yeah, you know, you're going to have to delegate it out to people, which is technically other people do shit for you, which is kind of like a definition of lazy, right? You know, but people only think of the negative aspects of that. So it's very important to understand this, right? Because there's a reason why I sit at the top, right, doing these shitty videos, and then all of you are still stuck doing the shitty jobs that you don't want to do, right? You want to become like me, right? You have money, and you have free time, and you don't have to worry as much. Well, you still worry, but it's not as bad as, like, worrying, not having enough money, and you have to go to your stupid job that you don't like. Now, some of you might like your job, so that's even better, but for a lot of us, we hate our jobs. So... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I always see that stupid number. It's from Google, too. New cryptographically secure com tech designed to challenge money laundering operations. So I actually want to see what this is. Because I really don't feel like you're eating any of this stuff. But uh, a, firm te a fintech firm that's challenging the $2 trillion industry of money laundering is using crypto secure tech that allows banks to protect private data while helping other financial institutions track suspicious activity. Oh, okay, so this is actually has something to do with traditional banking. Uh, data breach, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, where is it tracking crypto, though? This firm aims to reduce money laundering through a layered solution that can apply to fiat uh, and crypto, secure tokens and crypto, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin, utilizing blockchain tech to create value that is automatically time stamped and recorded. Yeah, this is why uh, Monero, where is Monero? is going to be very important going forward because this is uh, the truly anonymous cryptocurrency. Uh, and th this is going to, the thing I'm going to be interested in seeing is, you know, will the U.S. government, will, 
Oh yeah, I gotta be careful because it's supposed to be a safe video. Uh, will the globalist, bad, evil people of this world ban Monero, right? Because they because they could try banning Bitcoin and crypto, but they can kind of control this, right? Because um, everything's trackable in the blockchain technically, so you know you're not fully anonymous. Well, but you know Monero is fully anonymous. So what? So what are they gonna do that? So um, Mitch told me. Uh, the programmer. He told me that some countries have already banned Monero. So, um, uh, well, we'll have to see. These transactions are inherently secure and immutable, preventing people from conducting the types of wide-scale financial scams and money laundering operations that have recently embroiled some of the biggest banks, including Deutsche Bank, Wells Fargo, and West Bank. But I mean, the problem is these big banks are controlled by ahem, certain globalists. So of course they get they can get away with the money laundering, but you and I cannot. Uh, but with that being said, I do like Deutsche Bank because at least they don't seem to be trying to screw up the West. They just want to make money, right? But other other pieces of shit like Wells Fargo, you know, they definitely go out of their way to scam people and hurt people. So, you know, it's, uh, it's a real shame, too, because I kind of really liked their banking style, too. But, hey, evil people do evil stuff. So what are you going to do, right? Largest vehicle investment vehicle is now registered as an SEC something coin of grayscale. So I don't know what this means. Uh, grayscale uh, DDD has announced that Grayscale Bitcoin Trust is now an SEC registered security. Okay. The landmark achievement puts Bitcoin one step further in traditional financial markets. Blah, 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 blah. The first crypto index fund to become SEC reporting. The grayscale. Okay, so does that mean I can openly trade this on the market? Because that's what we care about. Because as we'll see in this article, someone created an inverse Bitcoin ETF or something like that. So this is good. We need to be able to short the markets, right, in one form or another, right? Because because when this bull run kicks off, we'll make money all make, make millions on the way up, and then of course you know we're going to get ready to make millions on the way down. In fact, an inverse fund would be even more ideal, right? Because we don't, because we could just buy this and then just sit on our asses all day, right? And then when Bitcoin and crypto go down, this thing should also go up in value. That's what it's supposed to do. But I have to read. We have to read the details of this because there are definitely situations where it does, like the markets go down and the inverse doesn't even go up in value that much. It's like retarded. Commenting on the new SEC status, uh, blah, 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 blah. Interesting in terms of weighing how the new reporting status might influence the SEC's attitudes towards the Bitcoin ETF. I think we'll finally see a Bitcoin ETF in the next 12 to 18 months, and it will be Grayscale Invest that gets the nod. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's not out yet. Um, all right. We're going to actually retreat this, even though this is not a lot. This is actually very annoying. Uh, but 12 to 18 months is, I mean, the problem is 12 to 18 months, the bull run could very well be over by then, all right? But the thing is, we're still a few months away from Bitcoin's halving, and it took about two to two and a half years. Yeah, it took, I mean, depending on the time frame, it took about 22 months to 36 months to 30 months before the whole thing collapsed, uh, go up and then and peak and then go down. So, yeah, okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know. 12 to 18 months is really cutting it. But I mean, obviously, I can't. Beggars can't be choosers. So you know, we we work with what we got. Uh, also, after this, with the SEC to finally recognize this is a quasi public investment vehicle already available, liquid. Da, 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 da. Gray skills report confers that the company's fourth record core shows a state high demand amongst rich people and for its crypto products. Yeah, the rich are already want cryptocurrency. So, all right. So the good news is it looks like the STC is finally caving, and uh, the people who work in the American government are finally just bucking Steve Mnuchin and Donald Trump's anti-Bitcoin stance and just saying, you know what, we're just going to go ahead with crypto. And there's nothing those two idiot boomers can do about it. So. Well, that being said, I still want Trump to get reelected uh, to presidency this year. Otherwise, we're actually going to have a lot of problems if he gets kicked out by Bernie Sanders. So, you know, for the sake of stability, I do need Trump, uh, Trump's dumb ass back in the White House. Because the alternative is actually going to be a lot worse. Crypto asset firm Amoon launches Infra's Bitcoin ETP. Uh, digital asset, a uh, okay. Announced Thursday, Switzerland-based Amun 
has launched the 21 share short Bitcoin ETP SBTC on Swiss Stock Exchange 6. An exchange prop, okay, if Bitcoin's price clients traders lose, if it falls, they win. If you ever try trading options or futures, you'll see that's pretty difficult. It's also very expensive, which is why I don't want to use LedgerX.com. But it is an option for us if we have no other option. It's not the easiest thing, which is why it's just easier to say, I think Bitcoin will go down. I'm going to buy this stock. Yes, that's what we want. And we want one that's actually not leveraged. We want something that's 100% as correlated to Bitcoin as possible, or in this case, 100% negatively correlated. Right. So if Bitcoin skyrockets to a million, the stock should be worth like 10 cents. And then at that point, we're going to make so much money off of that. In fact, I wouldn't even short the market. I would buy the ETP. Problem is this thing is on the Swiss stock exchange. Right. The flight captures Bitcoin's price moving inversely in one stock purchased, uh, blah, 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 synthetic, e or whatever, ETN. And it's comprised of short positions. Firm all positions reset at the end of the training day with performances not rolling over the next day. So doesn't that kind of screw? Uh, so that basically kind of screws it up. Rosh one noted that the rise of crypto derivatives, particularly from lightly and completely already, are taking up 99% of the derivatives market um, compared to legacy providers such as CME and ISIS Bakht. The D crypto derivatives for uh, platform FTX trades some 2405 option contracts on its inaugural day. Uh, okay, uh, draft their own. It's right, consider that Rashford says the new for is just, just a few clicks. We hope to bring, uh, God, how the hell are we supposed to get a stock market account in Switzerland? All right, you know, how, how does that work? Phil recently got approval from the Swedish financial offering. It's blah blah blah. Okay, all right, well, hmm, I'm just curious, can we actually look this up? Um, Bitcoin. Uh, something called Super Bitcoin. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is only gonna be a, a Switzerland thing. Well, uh, well, I guess we're just gonna continue waiting for uh, the short products, right? So if you like what you saw, right or hurt, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my BitChutes at BitChute.com forward slash Real Johnson Chan. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. Let's try to get this channel to uh, 486 subscribers and beyond, because that's what I had on YouTube. Now, for those of you watching on YouTube, you know, I don't want to go through the whole thing, but yeah, I kind of just have to stay on YouTube. Way to leech off of the YouTube platform, but then be also just to... Uh, you know, uh, just get the info out there, especially Bitcoin, because that's the most important thing, because we can't function properly without money. So that's why it goes on YouTube. Uh, yeah. And then, of course, I can't change the stupid URL on the YouTube channel. So it's just like some weird idiot URL. And of course, someone was able to steal the original Lemon Factor. So not some weird idiot card channel. So very irritating. Can't stand YouTube. But unfortunately, you know, Google has a monopoly on everything. And um the American government is in bed with Google to uh, censor everybody. So, you know, it is what it is. So I'm done for the day. I will see you all in tomorrow's videos. Thanks for watching. Spread the world. Spread the world. Spread the word. And, um, yeah. So we're going to need a thumbnail for this picture. And I think it's going to be... Yeah, this thing looks ugly. So we're just going to use this one. Uh, but yeah, very good for grayscale, but eight, 12 to 18 months is still kind of far out there. So I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. See you tomorrow. Thanks. Judson Chan, JMC Coin, 404 Coin, and I am going to enjoy myself some Burger King.